Cops right now are on a manhunt for a person who are shooting at cops in Times Square. This person is an illegal alien, came across the border illegally. Shocker, you'll never guess what he did next. That's correct, he started stealing from lots of stores. Lots of stores in New York, New York, sorry, Times Square. The, 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 the epicenter of New York City. The place where everyone goes to see their dreams fulfilled. Well, for all these illegal immigrants, their dreams is to rob you blind. And if you don't let them, if you're a police officer and you're like, crime's illegal in New York City. They're gonna shoot at you and then run away. And yes, there might be some injuries to some innocent bystanders, but that's New York City. Cops can get beat up on the street. Cops can get shot at on the street. And what everyone does is yell at them, vilifies them. And it's a shocker that they're all running away from New York City to greener pastures like Florida and Texas, where cops are actually appreciated. But you have all these different crimes going on. You have the Mopat gangs of gangs of of illegal immigrants just driving through the street on these mopeds, which are so they are basically impossible to catch. And they're just grabbing purses from people, grabbing phones from people. And this was a big thing. The phone the phone theft was they'd grab a phone, they'd bring it to the ringleader, and he would hack into it and steal the the banking information, and then he would steal all the money from the banks, and then he would s delete everything on the phone and send it to, I think it was Venezuela? Venezuela or Ecuador, I don't remember exactly which, com which, which country they sent the phones to, and then they'd sell the phones there for cheaper, and they would make a ton of money off this. And this is the New York City that used to be the greatest city on earth, now it's turned into basically starting at least a third world country where cops are just basically being punched and kicked in the street and everyone just like well we gotta we gotta let these migrants steal because you know um, reparations or I don't know like uh, they just gotta let out some steam you know and so when a lady gets dragged on the street and hits her and, and, her, and she's hit with uh, with the on the pole because she's being dragged by the migrant on a moped well, okay, we'll move on from that. Yes, we're gonna put out some big statement that New York City is, uh, doing our fans now. New York City is, oh no, I might be racist, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> but right, he puts out a statement that I'm a police officer and we're gonna fight them, we're gonna really get them, and then they, they, they arrest all these migrants to get the cop, and they promptly set them free, because Alvin Bragg does not know what the definition of criminal is, because he is a criminal himself. And so you have all these all these things going on, and then now they've gotten locked back up because the backlash was so much. But the thing that the backlash was so much, but then the shooting happened after that backlash. So the shooting still gets just Times Square just shots out. Everyone start running. This this has to change, but the problem is it it won't change. It won't change because that's what our cities are all going to turn to. Like you look at Oakland, California, where it's basically just uh, worse than a third world country. Gaza right now is probably nicer than Oakland because it's just absolutely destroyed. And you, you don't know what's gonna happen. You're walking down the street, shots, sure, all the time, right? You, you, don't, you don't know when you're gonna get shot. It's just, all the streets are just constantly getting shot up. And so that's the most extreme examples, but it's gonna permeate throughout our society down to your city. You might think, well, my city is in a red state and and I have a bunch of guns, and, and uh, we, we love the police here. And that's not how it's gonna work. If you bring in 10 million more people every single year, and they all grow up in crime-infested neighborhoods, and their parents were part of gangs, and they've been jo joined part of a gang because it's only to survive, only to make any form of money in these countries, and they're, they're gonna come to your cities. And there's first it's gonna be a 50 people come to your city, that's fine. Or your town, or 50 people, okay. Then there's gonna be another 100. Few months later, it's like, okay, fine, we can still handle it. And then there's gonna be 10,000, and they're gonna take over your city or your town. And then there's gonna be nothing you do about it, and your cops will get beaten up. There'll be random shootings all across the city. You're gonna be shopping in a mall, and just that's what it's gonna be like. So, if you want that, good for you. I love that sound effect. I think I did a pretty good job. What do you think? And uh, if you want to solve it, I guess solve it with your vote because that's the only way to solve it. If you're a politician, you can go and you could just kick him all out.
let's go police. All the policemen were just kicking you all out. It's really the only way to solve this. Or again, your city is gonna go. See you next video. Subscribe. Bye.